Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for what is hopefully going to be a quickie. Um, I have this power supply that comes from my Canon uh, MX310 uh, fax scanner printer multi machine which actually I've kept and use it just as a scanner because as you can see it has the auto feeder uh, that can take many pages at one time and it serves its purpose I don't use it as a printer or a fax at all the nice thing about it it has this power supply that it is 24 volts 1.2 amps and uh, it comes out just by a clip here actually here is how it releases plug out the cable and you get a replacement um, power supply for the uh, fax machine scanner printer now at one time that we threw away from the office a few of those I did keep an extra power supply as it was so easy to remove and uh, I'm very curious to see how this one is holding up because my scanner started after three four scans uh, constantly resetting and power cycling and you couldn't even uh, turn it off from the power button uh, I swapped the power supply and everything is solved so we are going to take a look at this fixed as you can see box I already broke it a bit as you can see here I did put it in the vise to break the bond but I also broke the case as well doesn't really matter I'm going to continue braiding, breaking it off most probably some bad capacitors are causing the problems it's bad capacitor season at this time so let's try to open it furthermore and see what this power supply looks like so this piece here is oops, I bumped the camera a bit this piece here is disconnected let's try to break the corner here as well obviously this is a distraction uh, video this is ultrasonically welded you can um, hit it with a knife or something to break the bond and do it more tightly um, it doesn't matter for me as I have a, a spare one for the printer so it is released here oops I did broke the bottom part <laughs> that was not very tidy but here it is as far as um, through hole components go at least from the top very simple design input here common mode choke this should be class X capacitor fuse here full bridge rectifier here main filter capacitor is 82 microfarad 400 volts 
and the rest of the circuit class y capacitor here here is our isolation gap and the few smd components on the bottom side of the pcb as you can see as in the case in most power supplies uh, they do use single uh, layer boards to keep the cost the cost down uh, spark gaps here nice touch and these capacitors of course they are caps on <laughs> no surprises there this is a Tycon capacitor I think it is a bit better quality than those ones but they don't look bulged or leaking or anything uh, I will take my meter I'm going to use my uh, capacitor transistor tester to measure the uh, capacitors uh, in circuit we could discharge this is not a good idea but I mean this has been offline for uh, some days now let's start with the main one what it measures the uh, a diode as well but is this measurement accurate two nanofarads dear god sure enough th that does look accurate we need to remove the capacitor though to be absolutely sure we have a good measurement let's measure the uh, output capacitor which is a 330 microfarad 35 volt Joby this looks okay a bit maybe a bit high on the ESR and the one I did suspect which powers the PWMIC underneath is this one this one is a 47 microfarad 25 volt one and uh, let's take a look here Okay, so we get a hundred uh, microfarad and 2.5 ohms. We definitely measure another capacitor within the circuit. So what I would like to do uh, is actually remove them and take a look at the readings uh, of circuit. We are back. Let's remove the main filter capacitor. Oh, so there is some leaking there. We'll take a look at it in a minute. So our capacitors are out, this one has definitely seen better days, there is a small mark on the PCB as well and uh, let's take a look if it is actually 2.2 nano, I don't think I have a connection here, no.
that is amazing. It measures just as a resistor. That is better. It measures just as a resistor. At this point, nothing at all. Let's try again. So it doesn't even measure that. Let's check the small one. I mean, I'm even surprised this was operating. So this should be replaced as well. And the output one. This is good actually. This actually uses a very, very simple uh, design. Um, the IC is a DAP7B. Couldn't find much about it, but it only uses one external transistor or MOSFET. Output diodes and the TL431 of course for the feedback circuit. At the moment I won't bother to repair it. The other one is, uh, operate, is operating at the moment. I was just curious why it uh, power cycles and I mean it's really unbelievable it was able to operate without a main filter capacitor. Uh, imagine at the ripple current in uh, this circuit. So that was a small teardown for today. Hit the like button if you found this video interesting and consider subscribing for more. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye!